Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now we're going to go over maybe about three masks here today. And then I'm going to slowly get into my uh, masks that are hanging on the wall. As i got to set them up a little bit different. Uh, but the one you're seeing right now is in fact a zombie slash Frankenstein mask. Now the reason I picked it up because it looked absolutely amazing on Amazon's website. But when I actually got the mask in... I love the color scheme and the actual design as well as the hair. It's got a very punk rock feel to it or something. But what I don't like about it, as you can see it coming around, is the big gaping hole right there at the mouth. Okay, I'm not a big fan of that. I think for some reason I'm going to have to mesh that over with some black to give it a better appearance because I really am not a fan of that big hole. It looks absolutely stupid when you wear it too because you see your lips unless you make it up or something uh, but all in all this is a very cool looking design for a Frankenstein mask but I just not a fan of that big gaping hole or sorry to say uh, but the actual design as you can see here is really really cool looking the scars and everything the color scheme is absolutely amazing okay I love the hair too it's got a very you know punk rock feel to it but anyway, this is a very cool looking mask. Um, it does fit well for the most part. But like I said, I'm not a fan of the mouth. Um, outside of that, it's comfortable to wear. You can see out of it comfortably. But like I said, the mouth is the only thing that really turns me off about it. So I'm thinking of getting some kind of a black mesh or something. Or maybe green, if I can find it. And actually just kind of glue it in there. And hopefully it will improve it a little bit. But that is my Frankenstein mask. It's the last part of the uh, masks. I got two more to show you here. Uh, but this one here is usually sitting in my closet because obviously I'll have it out there on the shelf once I get it fixed. But like I said, because of the mouth, it kind of turns me off about the whole thing. But it is an actual very cool design with the exception of that. They should have put some kind of a mouth and a set of lips on it. This mask would have been absolutely perfect looking. But anyway, let's pull this off and move on to the next one, which is almost like a vampire zombie type mask. These are quite common online. Now, for some reason, this one here is damaged. Okay. And it has a tough time balancing. Okay. The hell's with this thing? It's damaged. Damaged goods. Alright, what I'll do is I'll pull it off of there. Put it there we go. Let's try that out. Okay. I'll have to get a different head for that. <clears throat> I got them in the back. But anyway, this is more like a uh, vampire, I don't know, like a uh, Nosferatu type uh, vampire mask. Or Stratego, or I think that's what they call it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got this a long time ago for about, I think, 11 bucks. It was cheap, okay. But I like the looks of it. Okay, I got it on Amazon.com. And I actually wore it. It looks really cool when you wear it. Okay. And I like the mouth on this thing too. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the vampires from uh, Blade 2. A little bit except their mouths open up and stuff. But this is a very cool looking mask. It's a thin material. Uh, the latex in itself. Uh, it's thin but. Like I said, I don't buy them to wear them. I buy them just to uh, dis display them. Eventually I have to build my bookshelf. And get that off the ground. We're going to have to do that real soon. Because I'm slowly getting some masks in. And they're starting to crowd out my room. So, But anyway we're getting closer to the end of the masks in themselves. And eventually I'm going to get into my wall masks. And I will do a separate video showing you all my Plague Doctor masks. I got a total of four of them now. I'm going to wear the outfit along with the hat. And give you guys a shot of what it looks like wearing this stuff. Okay, So I will do that further down the line. But anyway, this is my vampire slash zombie, I think they call it Stratego or something like that. I can't remember what they call it, but anyway. 
uh, that's this type of mask and the material in itself has got a very cool color scheme to it okay but I'll show you what it looks like up close here all right it's got a cool design color scheme is amazing on this thing all right the mouth is cool okay enough about that let's get into the last one here all right get a grip on it put this one down and put this one up there you go guys this is I gotta pull this back because she is big okay that right there is in fact a pumpkin mask evil pumpkin mask I picked it up because of the way it looked online and stuff Upon getting it, I will tell you this, the color scheme and everything on this thing is absolutely badass looking. The actual mask in itself, as you see it coming around the corner here, uh, has a very cool design. Very evil look about it. Uh, it's got a Joker-esque uh, eyes and stuff. Uh, the color scheme is really cool. It's not a bright orange, it's a dark orange. And it's got some green, some lime green in it. It's very cool and it's got little pimples in it too. I think they did an amazing job on this. This one I think cost me like 30 or 40 bucks because of the design of it. But it is pretty amazing. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down and show you what it looks like. Shut this off. Alright. Okay, now you can see the little pimples. He's probably a teenager going through acne right now. No, I'm just That's cool looking. The eyes are cool. This would be cool to wear during Halloween, that's for sure. But you got to get the right kind of outfit, more like a scarecrow type thing. Uh, that would be cool with this one, with wearing this mask. Uh, I got another one coming in. I just ordered it today, literally. All right, yeah. Let me straighten that up. Okay. It's a very cool-looking scarecrow. That one cost me like forty bucks. Wife's probably gonna freak out, but I'll get it. It should be all right. Uh, but it's uh, coming in probably July second. I'll do a video on that once that comes in. I do like scarecrows. I did show. Um, the ones that I have in my room right now, I believe there's one more in there, and I already showed it on one of my videos. It's not a scarecrow, scarecrow, but it is a burlap bag, evil, yeah, scarecrow type uh, mask. Uh, but um, I got another one coming in. It's very cool looking. Okay, I'll show you that when it comes in. But in the meantime, that's it on these masks here. I'm gonna concentrate on the ones that are hanging on my wall. These are more or less paintball masks, as well as you know face masks they're not full head masks we'll get into those next all right so um with that in mind because this is a brand new channel i'm going to ask each and every one of you who come here to check this channel out just do me a small favor and let everyone know about this and uh you know just let them know it's a brand new channel and stuff and in the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because i'm going to be pushing out a lot of videos I will be having an ungodly amount because I got a f whole room full of stuff I got to show you. I got to show you my horror figures. Once we get off the wall masks, we're going to concentrate on my other Halloween type um, or horror type uh, uh, figures as we get into that. And then we'll get into the Halloween decor. And then I will concentrate on my witchcraft. I got an apothecary. I'm going to show you all that stuff. Everything on the apothecary as well as my uh, spirit board or they call it Ouija boards. I want to show you that. There's a bunch of stuff I want to show you. So look forward to this. This is strictly Halloween and horror. This channel here is going to be nothing but. Okay, so keep that in mind. And the occasional update, you will see those too as well. In the meantime, don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos. Again, I thank you for coming. Let everyone know about this channel if you would uh, be so kind as to do so. And I will see you guys at the next video.